Okay, good evening, everybody. Apologies for the delay. Uh, I think for the benefit of time, we'll start with the opening few questions from our visitors from Italy, uh, which Patrick will translate, and then once we cap up two or three questions, we'll then move on to, to just answers in English. Buonasera a tutti. Chiediamo scusa per il piccolo ritardo. Per accorciare un po' i tempi, iniziamo con una breve parte con domande e risposte in italiano. Quindi, se i nostri visitatori vogliono porre qualche domanda, facciamo, ne facciamo due o tre. Grazie. Salve mister, buonasera, le chiedo un giudizio sull'Italia che ha visto stasera e poi un giudizio su Bellingham perché in questo momento sembra davvero il miglior giocatore al mondo e anche il suo parere, grazie. Good evening, uh, I wanted to get your opinion on Italy and in particular their performance tonight and I also wanted your thoughts on Jude Bellingham who seems to be the best player in the world right now, I wanted to get your opinion on that please. I think um, we played against a, a top nation. Um, of course, there's still, uh, I'm sure Spalletti is still um, discovering about the players and trying to get his um, ideas across. You could see they used the ball well at times um, and it was a you know, high-level game, both teams high-level. Um, so I was really pleased with the way we controlled the game. Um, with Jude, his mentality is incredible um, for his age, uh, to have such an impact at such a young age, to show such maturity, um, but also humility, and uh, we're very lucky to have him. Abbiamo giocato contro una nazionale molto forte, eh, chiaramente sono sicuro che Spalletti stia uh, ancora scoprendo tutti i suoi calciatori, sta cercando di passare certe uh, sue idee, ma si è, si è visto che loro hanno utilizzato um, il pallone molto bene, questa sera abbiamo, uh, abbiamo visto una partita di grande qualità da entrambe le squadre. Um, mi è piaciuto molto il nostro modo di gestire uh, il possesso palle, di controllare um, il pallino di, di gioco e per quanto riguarda Jude Bellingham lui è incredibile per quanto riguarda la sua mentalità, uh, avere una mentalità del genere alla sua età è qualcosa di straordinario, uh, vedere il suo impatto sia la maturità che anche l'umiltà che lui ha alla sua età. Buonasera uh, Southgate. Uh, L'Inghilterra è qualificata ufficialmente per l'Europeo, andrà in Germania per vincere la manifestazione. Uh, cosa pensa che renderà l'Inghilterra una delle favorite, una squadra che può giocare per vincere e cosa invece ancora manca secondo lei alla squadra per poi poter vincere? England have now qualified for Germany 2024 and the team we believe will, will go there to try and win the competition. What do you think England possesses that makes it one of the favourites to win the competition and where do you think the team is still lacking when it comes to necessarily competing to win the Euros as a whole? Um, <clears throat> I think the biggest thing for us is uh, the mentality. We have good technical players, um, good physicality, um, but we have to keep winning big matches like tonight and we showed real composure with the ball in the moments where we conceded and took control of the game again in the second half when um, yeah, our back players, our goalkeeper, th that was the big step, the big evolution for us, I think. Um, we, we played past the press, through the press, uh, and we showed really good composure to build the game um, and keep possession of the ball. Per noi è la mentalità che è molto importante, abbiamo tanti calciatori molto tecnici, siamo una squadra anche fisica e dobbiamo continuare a vincere partite di questo livello, di questo genere. Siamo rimasti molto calmo, eh, calmi con, con il possesso eh, palla anche quando abbiamo concesso un po' di spazi agli avversari e mi è piaciuto il nostro modo di riprendere il controllo della partita, soprattutto a partire dal nostro portiere e i nostri difensori. Credo che questo sia stato il passo in avanti che abbiamo fatto. Eh, poi siamo riusciti a, a sviluppare il nostro calcio, a saltare il pressing degli avversari, quindi mi è piaciuto molto il, il, la nostra calma eh, quando avevamo il, il, il possesso palla. Ok, no more Italian questions? Sono altre domande in italiano? Ok, thank you Patrick. Cheers. Uh, we'll go to Nizar Kinsella at the front. 
Sorry, Lizzo, if you'd use the mic. Thank you. Hi, Gareth. Um, congrats on the qualification. How much of an achievement is it to qualify two games early? Um, do we appreciate that enough as a nation? And how do you approach sort of the last two games with sort of that tied up now? Um, <clears throat> well, really pleased to to win the game tonight. That's the first thing. Um, we know that the games against the top top nations are the ones that um, we want to make a step forward with. Um, and yeah, we, we still need to win the games next month because it can affect seeding. So um, yeah, nice nice to get it done early. I think it's probably the toughest qualifying group with Ukraine, Italy. And the results that North Macedonia have had, not only in this um, qualification, but also in um, in previous qualifications. Cool. Um, do you think the expectation that will be on the team now going into next summer, the team's comfortable with that? And are you as a coach comfortable? You've said about taking the next step in speaking openly about winning the tournament. Is that something... Yeah, uh, I think we have to accept that. We, we, I think pressure comes when um, expectation is different to reality, and um, reality is we are going to be one of the teams capable of winning. There are others. You know, it's a very strong. You've only got to look through the top ten European nations, and on a, any given night, one can beat another. Um, and we're seeing in a Rugby World Cup now teams that were ranked one and two in the world um, in those moments that haven't been able to get there. So that's that's tournaments. Um, but we're comfortable with that. I've, I've talked about that from when we played at Naples and uh, we delivered that night. I think we've continued to do that um, through this calendar year. I think our performances have been good. I think the players that played against Australia did a brilliant job for us because... They allowed us, if we didn't have the depth that we've got and the mentality um, to come through what was a really tough night for them, we wouldn't have been able to have the freshness that we had tonight and give ourselves the best chance of winning the game. James Arling. Gareth, um, congratulations. Um, You've mentioned a couple of times already about England needing to improve that record against the top nation. So in that context, what can beating Italy home and away First time, I think, since 61 there. First time since 77 here. W w what can that do for this group? Yeah, I, th I think they have it. Um, I talked to them before the game about it. And um, they should enjoy playing in this team because they they go the extra yard for each other. I, 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 I don't think I've seen Marcus Rashford cover as much ground in a game. Um, back defending on his byline, Phil Foden back defending on his byline, doing the job for the team. Um, that that's when you know you've got a good a good spirit and a good team. And um, but also the control with the ball was important. So we, we've got lots of things going for us, but um, we have to keep improving and we have to keep pushing the players and pushing each other and then push the staff and. Um, I, I love working with all of my staff and players. I've had a bit of time with them before I came in. They're, they're brilliant to work with. We're very lucky. Can we go, Delaney? No. Thanks, Max. Hi, Gareth. Congratulations. Um, obviously, a lot of focus on Jude again. Uh, but as striking as his uh, performance almost seems, his personality, I mean, straight after the games, I actually on the pitch saying they were so much better than Italy. Uh, how does that come across for you as a manager? I mean, is he actually demanding of the rest of the players in the dressing room or what's that like in terms of changing even the, the mindset of the team? Well, I think he, he's been a catalyst. Um, he, um, I just think the way he carries himself and the way he plays on the field um, shows that. And, uh, he, you know, he's had that since he walked through the door, frankly. So, um, plus his... Um, the power in his play um, that, that gives us something when you're in tight situations and he can suddenly wriggle out of things and of, of course Phil did that tonight brilliantly in a different way um, but um, yeah I, I think that belief that um, willingness to engage with the, with the crowd the, the, they're rare traits in a, in a player so young Simon uh, two things. First of all, you, you've mentioned the Rugby World Cup a couple of times in the build-up uh, before today and, and obviously just then. 
you've also had that relationship with Eddie Jones down the years. Do you still have that same relationship with England rugby? Will you be going to the, the game? Uh, I'm not going to the game, but I wish Steve and all the team the very best. Um, really pleased for them that they've got through to Paris in the semi-final. I know that was one of their targets, so I, I know Steve well. Um, and they've got tremendously hard game ahead, but anything's possible when you get to that stage. And looking ahead to next month, I know you've been asked about it a bit, but you've always made the case that there's not many chances to prepare for a major tournament. So what are you looking to get out of it? Well, uh, similar to this month, we want to give people opportunities. We need to win two matches, firstly. Um, uh, there's a chance to look at, uh, look at players again, which we need to do. Um, we're not going to flog them physically. We didn't do that this month. I have to say... Um, you know, Manchester City have been brilliant um, with John Stones. I think we we came with a plan that um, might help him back. Firstly, might help us, might help them. And um, to be able to have him for an hour today in the early stage of the game was brilliant. Equally, Mark Gurhey did a fantastic job. That's not easy to come into a game like that uh, as a young defender and have to pick up the pace and he, he did exceptionally well, really, really composed. And we'll finish with Andy Dunn. Uh, congratulations, Gareth. Um, a lot of talk about Jude, a 20-year-old, but there was a guy out there, 10 years his senior, who actually seems to be getting better. Could you have a word about Harry and, mm. and his continuing role as the leader and the goal scorer and the mark he's going to set for this country? Mm. Yeah, I mean, he... Uh, it, it's... There's a risk we take the goals for granted, you know. Even, um, but his all-round play, his his hold-up play, the way he physically dealt with the centre backs, um, his vision, his passing, um, yes, it, it is because we have had him for a while. It's easy to underestimate, but he's a he's a top-level player, and um, he's also now a new experience at a, a different club where he's. he's looking to win trophies all the time and he's got to win every week and different sort of focus and pressure is the big signing there. So all of that's good. I think he's enjoying also coming back to England and mi mixing with the lads because um, he's very close with, with uh, all of the group. And um, yeah, uh, I've said before, our senior players set a brilliant example for the young ones. They, they provide that spirit, that back, uh, I include the goalkeeper, that back five today. Um, they've, they've been through so much together and they provide us with such a brilliant platform. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you.